Now we will show you how to use the SFR Shake Flask Reader with your shaker. Unpack all the delivered equipment. Carefully take the SFR out of the box and place it in front of you. Look for the enclosed screwdriver and for the fitting screws for attaching the SFR to your shaker tray. The SFR is attached to a base tray during shipment. It is fixed with four screws. Loosen all screws holding the base tray and take off the SFR. Put the base tray aside and take your shaker tray. The SFR has to be positioned in the middle of the shaker tray in order to avoid an unsteady weight distribution during shaking. You need to attach the SFR to the tray with four screws. There are three different sets of screws delivered with your SFR. Only use these enclosed screws for attaching the SFR to your shaker tray. The SFR main unit has different drill holes matching different types of shaker trays. Find the holes displayed in the SFR manual which fit your shaker tray. Make sure to tighten the screws properly so the SFR is secured firmly on the tray. You first need to mount the purchased clamps on your SFR. Make sure the arrow on the base plate points towards the optical module. Unscrew the nuts of the four M3 screws holding the base plate of the clamp. Choose the right holes according to your clamp size at the respective position of the SFR. Check if you have chosen the right holes before mounting the clamp. First attach all four screws loosely. Then press down the base plate and tighten the screws to avoid detachment of the clamp. The SFR main unit is delivered with two rechargeable batteries. Carefully push the battery into the respective shaft. Then close the security lock. A label on the back of each battery shows on which side of the SFR it has to be attached. Take the shaker tray with the SFR attached to it, place it in your shaker and fasten the shaker tray. Now you can place a shake flask with integrated sensor spots in the clamp. There are two knobs on the bottom of each shake flask and two holes in each clamp base plate to ensure the correct position of the SFS and its integrated sensors. Put the SFS into the clamp and turn it until you feel the two knobs snap in the respective holes of the base plate. If you do not place the shake flask correctly, you may get wrong measurements.